The National Urban League's annual conference kicks off today in Houston, running through Saturday. The organization says the focus will be on the, quote, unprecedented politically weaponized backlash against racial justice, political representation, and employment across the country. Joining us now from Houston, President and CEO of the National Urban League, Mark Morial. He will deliver his annual State of the Urban League address tomorrow at the conference. Mr. Mayor, it's great to have you on, hey, as Willie. always. Reverend Sharpton is excited to get down to Houston. Yep. He does ask if you could turn up the AC. Understand it's going to be a little <laughs> warm in Houston in late Better. July, but he's ready for it. Uh, so tell us, Mr. Mayor, what you'll be focused on this weekend. So uh, hydrate well, Rev. Uh, <laughs> and, and Reverend Sharpton will not only be here, but uh, we'll be honoring and recognizing uh, Reverend Sharpton. Congratulations, Rev. On uh, 20 years of partnership that we've had uh, to work on behalf of people in this nation. Uh, we expect some 10,000 plus people here. One highlight will be for the first time, uh, the mayors of four major cities, all African-American, Eric Adams, Karen Bass, Brandon Johnson, uh, and Sylvester Turner will be on stage together. Uh, I'll moderate a panel discussion to discuss the challenges they face with violence, uh, with economics, with migrants, with homelessness, with schools. In the case of uh, Sylvester Turner, how you navigate uh, in a state uh, where you've got a hostile governor and a hostile state legislature. Reverend Sharp and Melanie Campbell and I will have a, uh, a panel discussion, a, a fireside chat, if you will, on the civil rights issues and social justice issues facing the nation today. Uh, we've got people from all generations uh, who be in Houston. We've got a dynamic family and community day, expungement clinics, backpacks, uh, a, a job fair, a college fair, a whole lot of activations taking place, some great honorees and discussions. But here's the call to action. Uh, we will call on people to defend democracy, uh, to demand diversity, equity, and inclusion in all aspects of American life, and we'll call on people to renew their work to not only defeat poverty, but to defeat uh, income inequality, the racial wealth gap, and all of the economic challenges that we face. So this is gonna be a very important conversation and discussion uh, with uh, thought leaders, uh, political and celebrities. And I really wanna thank publicly Mayor Sylvester Turner, who'll be leaving office at the end of the year. He's been an outstanding leader for this city. Uh, and was dogged. We planned to come here in 2020. The pandemic derailed it. Mayor Turner called me as things eased and said, I have to have you back in Houston before I leave office. So we are here, and I expect the biggest, most robust gathering of urban leaders uh, in our history. Some 20,000 people, I hope, mm. uh, will be here in terms of guests, participants, delegates, uh, as, as, as well as others. Uh, Mark, uh, the Urban League uh, conference is always big, but it takes on new meaning uh, as you deal with the state of the uh, uh, of where we are uh, in this country, and uh, particularly people of color and black people, uh, because we're in the middle of seeing in Florida such real overt moves to try and distort and change uh, what is being taught in terms of black history. Talk about how uh, you and the Urban League and those of us uh, that work uh, in civil rights leadership together uh, has to deal with what we stand for as an organization, and certainly the Urban League has stood there, but also have to deal with the contemporary challenges that you have to, you have to administer both what you're doing, but at the same time deal with things that come up that you could not predict would happen right before the conference. Reverend, you're so right. There's a renewed backlash in this country, and Florida and Texas are ground zero. We're here because I will send a strong message to Governor Abbott and the Texas State Legislature about their voter suppression, their book bans, their anti-LGBTQ efforts, uh, their efforts all throughout the last several years uh, to really create a Texas not that's diverse, but a Texas based on nationalism and white supremacy in its uh, governmental philosophy. We are going to push back against that. And Rev, we find ourselves here 20 years after joining the National Urban League and becoming a, a leader of an iconic civil rights organization, confronting things 
that our fathers, mothers, grandfathers, and grandmothers had to confront in the 50s and the 60s. This uh, challenge is overt when you think about what people like Tommy Tupperville and other members of Congress are, are saying. And you listen to the rhetoric on some cable news channels. So we have to fight that while constructively working on how to educate, how to make sure our communities are housed, uh, helping people build businesses. We've got to stay the course. So we've got to be able to, if you will, uh, walk and chew gum and balance a ball on our hands because the times absolutely demand it. But uh, we'll also, Rev, you know, uh, encourage participation in the march. You will lead with uh, Martin III uh, in August because we want people to recognize now's a time to be a participant. Now's a time not to be a spectator in this very important work. Rev will help to lead that march coming up late next month. Mark Morial, congratulations to you personally on 20 years at the head of the National Urban League. We appreciate you being here. And Rev says he'll see you in a couple of days. All right. Thank you.